Good morning, Dykes fam. What's up, Tayden? Hey, the sun is so bright and it's shining right in my eyes. You are so bright and shining. Nikoi. Hi, now. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing today? We're going on a field trip? Yeah. So I volunteered today to go with uh, Nikoi's class on a field trip and that should be fun. So stick around guys and find out where we're going. Tayden, in the meanwhile, yeah. stay in school. Oh well. Because school's cool. Don't be a fool mm. or a tool. You mule. Got it? Got it. <laughs> we're on the school bus. Can you hear us? It's loud on the school bus. What do the wheels on the school bus do? Are you excited? Yeah. Look at this cut on the koi's left. Ouchie. Is he getting a fight? Did someone punch you in the lip? No. Ouch. Her lip split. So she's cold outside. No fun, huh? I don't, I don't have any aquaphor, Vaseline, or chapstick. Nikoi's lips hurt real bad. Can you bring me my chapstick? No, Napoleon. But my lips hurt real bad. Just borrow some from the school nurse. I know she has like five sticks in her drawer. I'm not gonna use hers, you sicko. We're sitting by the emergency door and it's so loud. But my lips hurt real bad. We've officially made it here to the Clark Planetarium. We're going to learn about science stuff. Nikoi's currently saving planet Earth. Come on, guys. Save planet Earth. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's cool. Hey, did you save the Earth or did you blow it up? Blow it up. Oh, that no. Really oh, that's warm. McCoy. McCoy has superpowers. My turn. Whoa, that just lit your hand up. Is it gonna come to mine? McCoy, look at me. Oh, it's coming to mine. Act like you're getting electrocuted. McCoy, act like you're getting electrocuted. <laughs> on. You having any fun yet? What are we doing now? We're going to a show. Guess what? We're going to a giant dome. You see that, Koi? <laughs> Is that crazy? They can't tell. We're in a dome. It's a dome. We're going to outer space. You ready to go to outter space? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. No, Koi. What do you think about the movie? Let it Did you throw go. up? No. Pretty close, huh? The kid in our group threw up all over the floor. They had to come in and clean it up. But now we're having some fun. McCoy, McCoy, just let it go. I don't know. Step on him. You got something green on your face. <laughs> We're gonna you gonna scare Tatum? No, surprise him. You gonna surprise him? Because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Okay, run over and surprise him. Go, 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 go. You ready to go home, Dad? Yeah, Dad. <laughs> you know what's 
funny. What? I'm the closest to the fun, so my, um, my teacher always tells me to go get it, and I like getting it, and sometimes it's funny because it's me that's answering the phone, and I'm getting it. Did you answer the phone today? Yeah. And they're like, hey, you're getting checked out. <laughs> no, they're like, take the ice being checked out, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm being checked out. Okay, let's go. So we just got back from the field trip. It's about two o'clock, so we just decided to snag Tayden from class. Is that okay, dude, or do you want to yeah. go back? Mm, no, I don't want to go back. You don't want to go back? Because, Never. We're, because we were going to do a math test. Boring. I know. McCoy. What? Was it okay today? D no. Did I mess up? Did I say anything I shouldn't have? Did I pick on your friends too much? Nope. The one boy that was with us, he uh, ended up having to go home because he couldn't keep his cookies down, huh? He threw up, Tayden. Because we were in a dome movie. Do you remember going to the dome movie, Tayden? Remember yeah, the planetarium? Well, it's not really a movie. They ask questions. No, no. The, this was a movie today. Oh, we, did, we, we didn't watch a movie. We had to answer all these questions. Oh, lame. Yes, because, um, it was actually fun because you had these little remote controls and you could pick what one you think it, the answer was. And it was actually really fun. And you also got to learn about stars in the solar system. Sounds lame to me. Just kidding. No, it, yeah. We, we got to watch a movie today. I actually fell asleep. I fell asleep in the movie. And then this kid like puked all over the floor and like the parents sitting right by him didn't even notice he like throws up a big old chunk on the floor so then they wake me up and i'm like oh crap i better hurry and go get somebody to come clean this up because yeah anyways and it's carpeted <laughs> okay who's ready to go home me okay should we go yeah okay Does mom know that we're coming home nope let's go Surprise, Mom. We're going to play a little prank on Christina. Yeah. After I get out and I go walk in the door, you guys are going to come in like 30 seconds after I do. Because okay. if Mom's on the main floor, she's going to be like, where's the kids? And I'll be like, well, I didn't pick them up because, you know, you didn't answer your phone. And I wasn't sure what to do. I was scared. And then you guys bust in and be like, surprise, Mom, we're here. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pranks on you, Mom. Answer your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Sleeping all day, taking naps with the baby, snuggling with Roswell. It's not fair. <laughs> not fair, I say. Not fair. We have to go to school on a field trip and walk all day while she snoozes with Roswell. <laughs> We're totally just kidding, by the way. I'll be back up there when you're there. This is ridiculous. Are you recording me? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you recording? Oh, I'm not. I just accidentally pushed the button. Whatever. What do you mean? What is going on? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I better wash my hands. Like what is going journey. on? What? Why are you recording? It's not. Yes, it is. You should like hide behind the door or something. Scare him. Because <laughs> I really brought the kids on me, goofball. Oh. Go hide behind the door. Hurry, get some water. Hurry, hide. Play a little trick on the kids. Hi, William. Uh huh. Hi. You doing good, buddy? Mm hmm. What's wrong with your eye? Just that swollen up. It got swollen up? Mm hmm. Poor guy. Have you been hanging out with mom and Rozzy? Yep. Having fun, Mr. Ninjago? Mm hmm. Okay. Did you tell them? No. Dad! Looks like it. William was getting ready. Where's Mom? Mom doesn't know yet. She's going to be coming up just a second. <laughs> no, you should have just popped out. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh my God. Looks like the joke's on you kids, huh? You guys do that to me every day. Dad! You're a liar! 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 Quit punching me. We're never gonna trust you again! You're a liar! That's what you get. You shouldn't play pranks on your madre. Well, mom technically busted me. I turned the, it's your kids' fault. You waited more than three minutes to come in the house. Three minutes? Yeah. What? what? That, that was no that, fault. That shows me your counting skills to 60. Dude, I, I said, I no, said, let's start counting, but dude, she, she waited like two minutes to start counting. I'm like, there you go. Why are you staring at yourself in the mirror instead of looking at the camera? <laughs> like, like, she would not. Dude, are you okay, bro? You are having a hard time. Well, that was fun. Uh, we just made it home from school, and Mom and everybody here is doing good. Right, Mom? We're alive, even though we didn't get to go to outer space. We went to outer yeah. space and landed on Mars. Still have that yeah, she's got a cut on her lip. Well, and they didn't have any like anything at the office that we could put on it. Like, I asked the lady, and she's like, all I got is like my own personal chapstick. Five from the school nurse. I know she has like five sticks in her drawer. I'm not gonna use hers, you sicko. And I'm like, but li no Koi's lips hurt real bad. <laughs> she needed to call her mom. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite style. But my lips hurt real bad. So anyways, how are you? Good. We're Good. alive. Did we you get some guys. sleep today or what? Yeah. I was giving you a hard time because you don't answer your phone. I know. I just thought you were occupied watching all those little kids at the film. And of course, I'm always going to veer on the side of take my kids out of school and go home early. Mom. You made the right decision. <laughs> okay, Dykes kids, what are we doing today? The soda challenge! All right, who's ready to drink some soda? Me! I'm going to stay up all night. <laughs> no. I know, this is a bad idea. That's me. Oh, damn. One, two, three. <laughs> He's totally saying dada. Christina had to go to a thing at our friend's house. So I just put Roswell down and I kept saying dada, dada to him. And he totally said dada. I've never seen him chat, jabber as much as he did tonight. Never. It's the most I've ever seen him jabber, and I swear he's saying dada for the first time. And there's some other things he's saying too, like, Dad, get me out of here. I don't want to go to bed. Mom's not here. We're supposed to be partying. Dada. He said it. I love you, buddy. Go night night, okay? <laughs> you say my name. That's right. I am your daddy, and I love you very much. Now he's saying, Mom. Dang it. I knew I shouldn't have got conned into putting him down to bed. It's that time of day, guys, where we're going to end the vlog. But first, we're doing... Comment of the day. day. The kids have the been missing out on this. I'm sorry, we're like in such a hurry to get them to bed at night that we forget to have them, but they appreciate your comments too. Okay, so our first comment of the day comes from Tatiana Rodriguez. Hi, Tatiana. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pick my nose. Okay, and I... You should be so proud of your children because they are so kind. That shows you guys are great parents. Did you pick that Thanks. comment because you want to feel good about your parenting skills? No, like, the truth is, is like, I mean, we're not the best parents. Like, we're not nobody perfect. is a perfect parent. Like, trust me, we are not. I'm a pretty good but, dad, though. You know, if there's. <laughs> <laughs> you are. If there's anything that you can teach your children, it's to be kind to others. And then that totally makes it so that you don't have a lot of the other problems, right? Like, if you teach them that, love and respect for other people, then you're gonna avoid a lot of other problems that come up in people's lives. So I think that that's something that's really important to us and that I think that helps them no matter where they go to 
you know, be good and do good things. And so that really helps. And thank you for like everybody. I noticed there was tons of comments about like how great, how kind our kids are and like polite and how um, they have good sportsmanship and stuff like that. So it was really hard to pick out one. But yes, Tatiana's was nice because she said it was because of us. So yeah, I picked hers, so it's good. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for all the nice comments and we're just happy to see that our kids have maybe retained something <laughs> that we've taught them. Yeah. Okay, our next comment comes from Matt. What up, Matt? What up, Matt? Matt has Matt been S. with us for as long as I can remember. Like, I don't ever remember him not being there. And Wait, so... you mean boxing bad boy? <laughs> That's you. <laughs> We're so happy that you've been with us for so long. You've been such a good friend to us. And so we yeah. wanted to share your comment today. Great job, Nikoi. Hey, Josh and Christina, is soccer starting to become more popular in the U.S.? If so, I wonder if it will ever reach the popularity of what you guys call football. <laughs> and then he says, LOL, probably not, huh? Ha. <laughs> and then he also says, I commented after the first part of the video, so I should say great job, Tayden, as well. Hello. Great job, Tayden. Soccer wasn't a thing where I grew up until I was like in sixth grade. And so it was it was relatively new when I was even in high school here in Utah. My high school did not even have it. Or Her like as a kid. Lame. We didn't even have leagues. And then also for you guys that aren't from the US, the US calls um, soccer or I mean, football soccer. Our football is like American football. It's American football. It's the pig skin. Yeah, where you like throw the ball with your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Quarterbacks, wide receivers, so that kind of thing. It's kind of confusing. But yes, I would say it's getting way more popular. Like we said, they didn't yeah. have it really when we were kids. And where we it. live, there's actually a professional soccer team, but we don't even have a professional football team. So Utah's totally ahead of the curve on that one. Yeah, and I played for like six years. So oh, I started job. in sixth grade and played up and through high school. But yeah, I loved soccer growing up. So I've never played soccer ever in my life. Yeah. But it looks fun. And all of my I'm kids exhausted skills, after watching it. All of our kids' scales come from me. <laughs> it's true. Like I said, I'm exhausted <laughs> after just seeing them run up and down that field. So I don't know if I could do that. I'm not a long distance runner. Okay, our next comment comes to us from Mama O. Hey, Mama O. And Mama O has been one of our friends for a lot of years, In real too. life. In real <laughs> life. We love her. She's awesome. And she says, fun sports day and love the orange juice fresh squeezed. We have been fresh squeezing for 30 years now every day for the kids' lunches. Now once a week for our Sunday fruit cup. Wow, way to score and be a good sport. So thanks, Mama O. So now I know your secret to all of you guys being such amazing runners. It's yeah. all that fresh squeezed juice. <laughs> so that means we need to start drinking more fresh squeezed juice. We'll just too. give it to our kids. <laughs> it's way too late for us. That, I guess that's why Tate and Nikoi ran so fast because <laughs> they have that for you guys. So yeah, thank you for all of your wonderful comments. We love all of you and we appreciate every one of them. As long as they're nice. We don't like mean comments. Remember to be what? nice to everybody. What? We get mean everybody. comments sometimes? We do. <laughs> and I don't want to have to get mad at you and leave you a mean comment back. Just kidding. I want to be mean. She doesn't do that. But um, please leave nice comments and be nice to our Dykes fam. Being kind makes the world go round, guys. There's no need for negativity. Be nice to everyone and you'll be much happier in your life. So please leave nice comments. Even if you disagree or don't like something, leave a nice comment. It will make you feel better. Or don't leave a comment at all. If you don't have something nice to say, first best don't advice. say it at all. So <laughs> we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us every day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Leave us a comment below so we can get to know you better. And maybe you will be the next comment of the day. Also give us a thumbs up. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Manana. Peace out. Thanks, Peace fam. Out we love fam. you guys. Whoops. We love you.